Wow, fire department did me like that. It's scary out there, man. It's scary on the city streets. It's scary on the highway because you can't control what these other cars are doing, man. Yeah, so you don't want to watch videos that's giving you bad advice, right? Um, you also don't want to watch too many crash videos. Six, man. We back in it, baby. We out here in the country with it this time. We got the quick shifter on, y'all. Oh, look, gravel pit. Gravel pit. That right there could get you folded, kid. chop it up about riding and something that I I haven't heard anybody talk about so I want to address it make sure this is closed so I want to address it and that's basically applying YouTube knowledge to your riding all right what do I mean by applying YouTube knowledge to your riding Basically what I mean is if you someone like me, you learn how to ride off of YouTube, right? I learned how to ride off of YouTube. I'm not the best rider around, I'm not the fastest rider around, but I learned how to ride off of YouTube. So with that said, me learning off of YouTube, I pretty much learned how to ride the right way, how to ride the correct way, and how to ride the safe way. As you can see, it's the cops right there. And they ain't even messing with me because I wasn't in speed, you feel me? Nah, here they come. <laughs> nah, I was just playing. <laughs> nah, but, but I ain't the fastest rider around. I'm not the most talented rider around. But, you know, I haven't dropped the bike, you know. I haven't did anything crazy with the bike. You know what I'm saying? I had a couple run-ins with the law, you know? But it's all good, you know? But uh, besides that, you know what I mean? I learned pretty good off of YouTube. But the thing is, is how do you take the knowledge that you learn from YouTube and apply it to your riding, right? And here's my suggestion to everybody that is watching YouTube, learning how to ride through YouTube, because I know several people who learned how to ride through YouTube. They didn't have anybody to teach them how to ride. So they got on YouTube and then they started learning how to ride. But here's what I suggest to riders that's learning how to ride off of YouTube. Get certain pieces of knowledge off of YouTube and then get on the bike and practice. Piece by piece. Don't overdo it. Don't watch a whole bunch of videos and then get on the bike and practice. If you just get started, watch a video on not styling the bike. If that's the main thing that's on your mind, watch a video on not styling the bike, right? And then get on the bike and just practice not styling the bike. Don't practice not styling the bike and turning fast. Let me see, is my dog over there? Yeah, he over there, I'm about to pull up on him. We're just spinning around, I got time. Do I got gas though? I got some gas. Yeah. But yeah, man, you gotta practice. You gotta watch a video on it first, then go outside and practice it. Y'all think I can make a U-turn right in front of this truck? Let's see. You can 
make it happen. to get some boiled peanuts. I love boiled peanuts. I got boiled peanuts on my back, y'all. <laughs> I can't ride without that bluey going. Hold on, and that candy rain going. Let's do it, baby. That limiter hit. <laughs> so yeah, man. You know, the next thing that you gotta think about too is when you're learning off of YouTube, is you gotta watch a video more than once. Right? Using YouTube videos to learn, you can't really learn good if you're just looking at the video one time and then trying to apply the knowledge and move on. Because you're not gonna retain all the information that you took in just from watching that video one time. You gotta watch that bad boy multiple times. So what happens is when you watch it more than one time, you get to go out on the street, apply that knowledge, and then make adjustments and go back to the video and kinda compare what you did on the street to what the person was saying in the video. For example, um, when I first started riding, I, I really wanted to learn a lot about which lanes position, which lane position to ride in. And they taught me a little bit of this at the MSF course. But one of the things that I learned from, uh, I believe it was like Dan the Fireman or something like that, is like street riding, like kind of guidelines to keep you safe. Like which lanes to ride in and, which, and, and, and what to look for when approaching certain uh, sections and areas of the street. So I would go out and I would experience certain things like, oh, why did this guy cut me off just at the third? And I would go back and watch one of his videos and I would see like, all right, maybe I was over here instead of being right here and the person couldn't see me right here. You know what I'm saying? That's just an example. You know what I mean? That might not have been the best one, but that's just an example of what I'm talking about. It's a beautiful day out here. One thing you gotta watch for when you're riding is the cops are sit on these ramps, on these horn ramps, and they'll clock your speed from the horn ramps. And then next thing you know, you ride and you're like, man, this cop, what is this cop doing behind me? I didn't see this cop when well, they got your ass on that horn ramp, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, to apply that knowledge, you gotta watch the video more than once. Go out, try it, watch it again, and uh, compare what you saw in the video and go back and pick up some other pointers from the videos. That'll help you learn, you know what I mean? I'm gonna stay right here, cause this cop right here. Ain't nobody getting in front of 12. Look at that. What's that over there? It's beautiful. slide through. All right, we back rocking and rolling. So yeah, man, you can learn a lot from the YouTube videos. It's all about how you apply them. Another thing is you want to look out for bad advice. And, uh, and one of the keys to looking out for bad advice is knowing what bad advice is. What's bad advice and what's good advice? 
a lot of times you won't learn what's bad advice or what's good advice until you apply that advice on the road and then go back and watch the videos again. Which goes back to the second thing I said. You gotta watch the video multiple times. But you wanna filter out that bad advice. And once you get somebody that's telling you good things that you learn and that you apply, like, all right, like when I first learned how to trail break, um, it was certain videos that I watched and it was certain videos that were just telling me key specifics on trail breaking that I grasped myself. And I used those key specifics and practiced them and it worked. I'm like, oh man, this worked. Let me go back and watch some more of the videos and then I learn more from certain riders and stuff like that, you know what I mean? I gotta get some gas. I should have, I should have been got gas. All right, so there's some things that you can't really learn off of YouTube as well, right? And uh, one of those main things that you can't learn is the motor skills that it takes to ride a motorcycle. And I'm gonna make a whole nother video about this, about certain motor skills that you need to have to work a motorcycle. And those motor skills is just simple coordination, man. You gotta have coordination, man. Um, and you gotta do things to work on your hand and eye coordination, because a lot of it is hand and eye. Like, people that are really good at sports, you're probably gonna be good at riding bikes. If you weren't good at sports, you might need to take more time than to learn a certain things when it comes to riding a bike, or you might need to get involved in a sport that uses your hands and your eyes and kinda, and kinda, and kinda, exercise uh whatever it is that i'm looking for oh i just ran over a squirrel probably oiled all the way up but you want to go out and exercise those skills right and get your speed up because the coordination is what saves you out here a lot of people don't talk about that you can't really watch that from a video you gotta have that or you gotta build that you know what i'm saying thing pop boy this is my favorite place to ride y'all in the country i love it city streets i don't really like riding in the city streets i don't really like riding on the highway and uh it's scary out there man it's scary on the city streets it's scary on the highway because you can't control what these other cars are doing man you know what i mean and people drive crazy on the highway. Trucks drive crazy on the highway. That's what makes it a whole nother ball game being on the highway, man, is you can't control what the other people do. That's it. So when I get out to these country roads like this, back roads, and just, let me see. I don't know if I want to get no gas from right there. They're 329 anyways. hit this country ass Sunoco. Let me hit the country. Mm, mm, mm. Pull up quick. that ride season you know it's coming back when you start seeing those bugs all on your face mask So you don't want to watch videos that's giving you bad advice, right? Um, you also don't want to watch too many crash videos. Look at all that water out there. Right? And too many crash videos is something that I fell victim of 
uh, when I was learning how to ride, man. I was watching so many crash videos, crash compilations and all that stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. There's plenty of them out there for you to watch. And uh, that's something you want to stay away from, man. Because uh, it, it makes you fearful out here. It builds up your anxiety. The truth of the matter is, if you want a motorcycle, you are already risking a lot. This thing got two wheels, you know what I'm saying? If, if it come out, if something come unbalanced, you're gonna be on the ground. That's just simple gravity, you know what I mean? But you're, you're a better rider when you're not constantly thinking about that. You know what I mean? Like, of course you wanna think about it, but you don't want that stuff to overtake your thoughts. You see what I'm saying? You don't want it to overtake your thoughts. Because if it does, you'll ride scared. And ride scared is not riding smooth. Trust me, I did it, you know what I mean? So don't watch too many of those videos. Uh, I kind of got to go back on something I said earlier. With, uh, you know, like the videos by Dan the Fireman. <clears throat> he got a lot of good videos, you know what I mean? And this is not a knock to him. It's just something that he's got going on because people want to see this stuff. But a lot of the videos are crash videos. And watching too many of those crash videos, like I said, it'll build up your anxiety. One of the things that I like that he does is he explains why people crashed and what they could have done to avoid the crash. So I got to give him credit on that. But you don't want to get caught up watching too much of that stuff. You know what I mean? to get from behind that trailer boy can't see nothing yep yo all my georgia people let me know some country roads i need to tackle man some real deep off in the country man school zone speed limit okay 45 slow it down through here Slow it down when you're riding through here. Why? Come through here correct, man. The children. The children out here, man. Alright, so another thing about the YouTube videos, man. This is a good thing too, man. I, I'm I'm all over the place with it on this one. I'm 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 giving you the good and the bad and the ugly. Another good thing is you can learn how to work on your bike, man. You know what I mean? Like you can learn how to fix your bike up. Anything that go wrong with your bike, you can get on that YouTube, look up the bike it is that you got. You got a Suzuki GSX-R600. You can type it in Suzuki GSX-R600, how to change the oil. And uh, it's a video on there where you can learn. If you pay attention to it, you can change your own oil. I learned how to do all my maintenance off of YouTube. Of course, I had a couple other tips from uh, from like mechanics and stuff like that but pretty much i learned everything off of youtube uh when it comes to the mechanics of the bike oh shit wow fire department did me like that wow i can't believe the fire department did me like that that's nuts. And I wouldn't need a speeding. That's crazy. That happened all the time. But there you go, prime example. Fireman right there, right? I learned some of that from Dan the Fireman right there. When you coming through them zones, you gotta be on alert. What do you, what do you, I think call it red zone or something like that. When you coming close to the uh, to the intersections and stuff like that, man. So you know in that red zone, you gotta be alert. Be able to grab them brakes. Uh, Moto Jitsu, learned about squeezing the brakes. Progressive pressure on the brakes. Coming through here, red zone, red zone, red zone. All right, he's back up on the gas. So we covered a few things, man. What you can learn on YouTube, how you can learn on YouTube, and stuff falling off this truck. And uh, different, tips and keys to be able to fully utilize a platform like YouTube 
to learn what you need to learn to be able to operate this motorcycle in the way that you want to operate this bad boy, you know what I mean? Appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. We're going to wrap this episode up. We're going to slid through the back roads of the country. You know how we do it. Uh, man, let me know some video ideas, man. Ask me some questions, what y'all want to know. Drop something in the comments, and I got you on the next uh, couple videos I drop. It's your boy, Six Gear Cutlow, man. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Shout out to the new subscribers, baby. Peace.